Good morning, Akiko. For those hoping for a sign to declare victory on inflation for the Fed to begin cutting rates, well, they didn't get that this morning. The core consumer price index, which excludes volatile food and energy prices, clocked in at 3.9% in January, holding the same level as December. That's still roughly double the Fed's 2% inflation target. While the new reading showed inflation hasn't moved higher, it didn't improve either, and key components the Fed examines, services excluding shelter, remained sticky. Investors have pushed back bets on the timing for when the Fed could begin cutting rates to June now from May on the back of this hot data. That data point vindicating a chorus of Fed officials last week who urged caution on just how quickly the Fed could begin cutting rates, emphasizing they would need to see more evidence that inflation is moving back to their target on a sustainable basis. Indeed, Richmond Fed President Tom Barkin said it would be smart for the central bank to, quote, take our time, saying no one wants to see inflation reemerge. Meanwhile, Boston Fed President Susan Collins and Cleveland Fed President Loretta Mester see rate cuts later this year. As Mester has warned, it would be a mistake to cut too soon. Perhaps Fed Chair Powell put it best at his press conference last month when he said, we have seen a good six months of data, but we need to see more data to feel fully confident. Some have conjectured that the Fed needs to see another six months of good data, and that ironically would put the Fed in the month of June, which is where investors are now pricing in the first rate cut. Of course, the data will tell. Akiko. And we'll keep turning to you for that, Jen. Jen Schaubberger with the very latest there, breaking down the data for us today. Thanks so much.